Hey friends, thanks for clicking on this video. My name is Neil and we are back with another contest here on the channel. Usually do about four a year, okay? We've already done one at the beginning of this year. This is the second contest of the year. And this one I think is gonna be a fun one because it's very different than anything that I've done before. Yes, it's creation based, whether it's jerseys or logos or whatever. I usually try and keep contests about creativity and you creating something. This is gonna be about logos, logos specifically. No jerseys, no uniforms, no, nothing else other, other than a logo itself, okay? This is about a primary logo for uh, eight, actually, teams. Not one team, eight teams. This is gonna be a bit of an interesting contest. So, a little bit of a backstory with some context. Jason and I came up with a video about uh, maybe three weeks ago where we talked about, or I guess I presented the idea to him, and I talked about eight new potential teams in the NHL if the NHL had relegation. Now, that idea in general is very far-fetched. It's not realistic. It has a ton of flaws and problems, and I understand that. It's not really about that, whether it's viable or not. This is about the eight teams, whether it makes sense or whether it doesn't make sense. It's just about the thought process, the idea, the conversation behind it. And those eight teams that I presented in that video are going to be the eight teams in this contest. So if you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. There is a bit of, you know, a bit of backstory, I guess, to, to some of those some of those teams and stuff, but I'm gonna try and walk through the teams in this video and provide some context for the teams as well. Now, I'm gonna start off with the rules because th those are the most important things. And I received so many submissions on these contests that I have to create these rules and you have to follow them very specifically because I can't be getting a bunch of emails and questions and all this stuff. I don't mind questions, but <laughs> like, don't, don't submit something and then make a correct correction a week later and then make another correction three weeks. It's just, I don't have time for that. So please follow the rules the best you can. Uh, and if you don't, simply I will just disqualify or delete the email because there's just too many to go through. I work a full-time job and I don't have time to manage this like to the extreme that like I, I just can't, I just don't have time. I don't know how else to explain it. So rule number one, email your submissions to productions at post to showcom I'll also put these rules up on the screen as I go through this. Uh, that's That's been the same for, for basically every contest that I've done recently. Rule number two, make the subject line of the email eight NHL team contest or eight team NHL contest. However you want to word it, it's fine, but make sure eight is in there and make sure contest is in there because I get so many emails in general. I need to file these away in specific folders and stuff. So please name the subject or title of the email uh, properly so I can see it coming in. Rule number three, do not steal artwork. This is the biggest rule of them all. Do not steal artwork. If I see that you've stolen artwork or that you've taken elements from something that's already existing, you will be disqualified instantly. You know, this, this is about creativity. This is about coming up with something on your own. It doesn't matter if it's perfect. This is about the conceptual idea and, and what you think would work. It doesn't have to be perfect. Please do not steal artwork. Not only will you be uh, disqualified from this contest, but I will ban you from all further contests. I just, I hate when people steal artwork. It is so frustrating. Just be original and just be creative. That's really all I want, okay? I, I can't stress that enough. Rule number four, only one submission per person. That's probably uh, expected. Rule number five, uh, include your name with the email. So if you if you submit an email, uh, email to pr productions at post to post .com, have the subject be 18 NHL contest, and then in the body of the email say, hey, my name's Thomas, attached is my contest entry, thanks. Just wanna know your name, that's all. Okay, so next rule number six, no NHL game logos. So don't go into NHL 20 or NHL 21 or 22 and go into the creative create a team section and then pick one of those logos and send it to me automatic disqualification. I just, I don't want pre-made logos. I don't want stolen logos. Please be original. Uh, number seven, cannot use previously existing logos for cities. So there are going to be some cities in here which have NHL history. Quebec, Hamilton, Kansas City. You cannot use previously used logos by those franchises or by those cities um, in this contest. Like I said, be original. Rule number eight, submissions due by Thursday, June 30th. So I'm giving you more than a month to create eight of these logos and I'm gonna explain the contest a little bit more uh, coming up. So number nine, winner announced on July 10th. So after you submit it, it's gonna give me about a week and a half to review and uh, decide on a winner. So winner announced July 10th, due date June 30th. I do not accept late applications. Uh, or eight late submissions rather. I think uh, more than a month is is a very generous amount of time for this contest. So the contest itself, let's talk about that. So number one, create a logo for each of the following teams. So there's eight teams, like I said, and all you need to do is create eight logos. No jerseys, no uniforms, no reasoning. I don't want reasoning. Don't give me, oh, send me a big email with 17 paragraphs. I don't care, <laughs> okay? Just give me the logos. 
I don't need any explanation, not a single word. I just want the visual. I want to try and figure it out for myself. I just want to look at this from a visual perspective and think, does this work? No explanations, just visual logos. Also, the logos can be drawn on paper or created digitally. So if you don't feel comfortable working in Photoshop or on a computer, or you don't have that skill set, um, that's okay. You can draw them on a piece of paper, On you can use pen, you can use pencil, it doesn't really matter. Just create your logos, whoever you want to, uh, whatever you're most comfortable with, whatever whatever lends to your skill set, basically. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, it's This is all about uh, the creativity, not necessarily the specific execution. Okay, so next up, logos must all be in one file or image or on a piece of paper. I guess this should have been in the rule section, but what I, what I mean by that is if you create eight logos, please do not send me eight files. I'm gonna disqualify you. Please put all, if you're making this digitally, I'll just use an example, digitally in Photoshop, you've created eight separately, take all eight, put them in one file, one JPEG or PNG or whatever, and send me that. Just send me one file with all eight on them. You can put the city names and st or city name and team name and stuff with the uh, eight logos on the same sheet. And also if you're drawing, do the same thing. Draw them all on one piece of paper or uh, take a picture of all eight and then kind of merge them together. I don't know, but uh, I just want one file for all eight teams, not eight files, please. Okay, now the team, this is the best part, the teams. Now we get to the fun stuff. So team number one, the Houston Arrows. So in that video that I referenced earlier that I think you should go watch, I referenced the cities. I did not give you the team names in that video. I'm going to give you the team names here. So Houston Arrows is the first one. So Houston actually has hockey history with the team Arrows. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you any more than that. Please do your research and, and learn, but don't use that logo, like I said, that it already exists. City number two or team number two rather, Atlanta Thrashers. Hey, that's an easy one. That team just existed you know, 13 years ago or whenever it was. So we're familiar with that, but don't use the Thrashers logo. You can use something else. Uh, you can even use their colors or branding. It doesn't really matter. Just don't use their logo. And by the way, for all these teams, be creative. You don't have to use a specific amount of color. Uh, you can use a two-tone. You can use five different colors. I don't really care. Just be creative. Um, but think about the teams that may have existed previously in those cities. That might give you some bonus points. Team number three, Quebec Nordiques. Easy one. Now, they have a very iconic logo. If Quebec got another team in the NHL, chances are that they would use the logo that already exists, as they should. However, that's not what this contest is about. This contest is about creativity, so don't use the Quebec Nordiques logo, which is a hard thing to do. Come up with something on your own. Team number four. This one is obviously very far-fetched, but again, this isn't about the viability of these teams. Halifax Highlanders, okay? So the term Highlanders, I'm gonna leave that up to, do, to you to do some research, maybe on Nova Scotia, uh, Halifax, and then the term in general and what it means to Nova Scotia. And uh, feel free to, you know, think outside the box with that one if you'd like. Number five, Hamilton Tigers. So a city that actually has some NHL history with that name. And uh, we've got a lot of cats. We've got the Panthers. We've got the Predators with a, a cat logo. Uh, why not add another one with the Tigers? If there's another one I'm, I'm forgetting, I guess the Minnesota Wild, but I think that's a bear. Um, okay, number six, the Milwaukee Harleys. That's kind of an odd name, right? The Harleys, that's, that's weird. We've got the Bucks. We've got the Admirals. Why the Harleys? So I was doing some research on Milwaukee and I was trying to think about a name for the team. And I came across something interesting, and actually I came across a bunch of interesting things. I learned a lot about Milwaukee, cool city. But there are a lot of different things you could choose for a team name. And I all felt that they would make sense. However, they're very close to some, like they're animals and they're whatever. So I, I, I wanted to find something a bit unique for this one. So Harleys, and I learned a lot going through this process. So Harley Davidson was actually founded in Milwaukee over a hundred years ago. And if I'm not mistaken, the Harley Davidson Museum is, is in Milwaukee. So. Uh, the Har like the word Harley's is it's kind of different and it also lends to a different possible logo. Harley's is a motorcycle. So would the logo have a motorcycle on it? Well, if it did, hypothetically, if you made, if you made that, that would be very different than any, every other logo in the NHL. And I think that's kind of cool. So uh, that's why I wanted to go with Harley's. Just a bit of a different name. It sounds okay. Milwaukee Harley's. It's kind of weird at first, but same with the Golden Knights. It would be weird if they were called something else now. It's just, you'd get used to it. Next team, Portland Anchors. I struggled with the name here too. I wanted to go Portland Eagles, and I'm talking Portland, Oregon, by the way, not Portland, Maine, or anywhere anywhere else has a Portland, Portland, Oregon. Uh, Portland Anchors, I, there, I, I looked at Eagles. I thought, man, Portland Eagles would be cool because there's a lot of Eagles around Portland and Oregon. But I thought, well, there used to be a team in St. Louis called the St. Louis Eagles. I think they played in the WHA. And then, there was a, then there's the Washington Capitals, which Capitals has nothing to do with an Eagle, but I've got two logos that are eagle based so i'm like okay maybe the portland eagles isn't a great name so i went with Port portland anchors because uh, number one it's kind of a slap in face to the seattle kraken because they're 
secondary logo is an anchor. Uh, but number two, Portland's actually, they've got one of the biggest ports in the world. They, it's a man-made port, if I'm not mistaken, uh, unless Wikipedia is wrong. But it, it is, you know, it's, a big, it's a big ship city. There's, there's lots of ships coming in, that little inlet there in the river, or whatever you want to call that. So it's a, it's a, big, uh, it's a big water city. So anchors felt kind of appropriate, and you could do something cool, I think, with a logo there. Uh, number eight, Kansas City Scouts. So that's a previous team that has hockey history. Uh, don't use the previous logo, but uh, you should be familiar with that. And like I said, do research for all of these. Be creative. Uh, read about the cities. Learn a little bit about each team name and try and come up with something interesting. That's really what, all what it comes down to. So not one singular team, eight different challenges for you in one contest. Now, what's the prizes? That's probably what a lot of people are interested in. Well, there's gonna be actually one big giant prize for the winner, not a bunch of prizes for one to fifth or something like that. So whoever wins is going big. So the first prize is going to be four jerseys. Well, the first section of the prize is gonna be four jerseys. Here's number one, it's a Fanatics jersey. This was submitted by Jake. Uh, all the, Actually, all four jerseys here were donated by Jake for this specific reason for a contest. So round of applause and shout out to Jake for submitting these. But uh, we've got a Fanatics uh, Vegas Golden Knights Golden Knights uh, jersey. We've got a New Jersey Devils blank Fanatics jersey. We've got a Adidas stitched Chicago Blackhawks Jonathan Taves jersey. And we've got an Adidas Calgary Flames Johnny Gaudreau away jersey, previous version of their away jersey. So four jerseys for the winner plus this is the coolest part. What's in this? What could possibly be in this that I would be giving away? It looks like a missile launcher or something. I'm not giving you a missile launcher. This is from a company called hockeyrooms.ca. They are sponsoring this contest. They have donated this, and I've not opened this actually. Hold on, give me a moment. Okay. They make uh, like big, here's a simplified version of what they do. They make big giant stickers you put on your wall and they're awesome, okay? I'm not gonna take this completely all the way out, but you can tell there's a giant roll of a sticker in here. And uh, I'll put a, an image up on the screen that shows you what exactly it is. And it's hockey boards. It's, it's, how amazing is that? You can transform your room to look like an arena. You can put the boards all the way up on, on your room. I think that is the coolest thing. And it's so realistic, it's easy to apply. And uh, if you if you want to just go ahead and buy some, well, I'm going to help you out there too because you can use code post to post on their site, and that's going to save yourself 10%. Uh, if you want to pick it up early, if, if you don't win the contest and you just want to get some, man, save yourself 10% and get these awesome stickers for your wall. And they're really easy to apply as well. And if you're having difficulty, and even if you're not having difficulty before you go to apply, they have videos on their site to show you exactly how to do it. It's so simple. That I think that's an awesome prize. Thank you so much for HockeyRooms.ca for sponsoring this contest and providing that. I think that's the coolest prize ever. You can transform your room into an arena by putting boards on there. That's an amazing uh, product. So thank you to them. Thank you to Jake for for uh, submitting these jerseys for the for the prize as well. This is really a community uh, funded, I guess, uh, prize. And I'm, I'm so thankful for that because the channel unfortunately doesn't make a lot of money. So uh, we do the, the jersey giveaway every single month on Patreon. And uh, most contests, uh, I, I support myself just through a jersey or you know buying a prize or whatever. They're not really ever elaborate prizes. I feel like this one's pretty good. We got four jerseys plus the giant thing you can transform your room into a hockey arena. That's a pretty cool prize in my eyes. And it has nothing to do with me. It all has to do with hockeyrooms.ca and Jake. So a wonderful company and a wonderful person who sponsored this uh, this contest. So thank you to them. And thank you to everyone who, for watching this video. And I can't wait to see your work. I can't wait to see your work. So eight teams coming at me by June 30th. Is that what I said? Yeah, June 30th. And a winner will be announced on July 10th. Can't wait to see your designs. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comment section. I will read all comments. I might not respond right away, but I will answer your question. Uh, so please leave your questions down below in the comment section. Hope you guys are having a great day. If you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button. If you did like this video in this contest, please hit the like button. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.